Understanding faith is the underlying theme in Christian Amanpour's documentary series, God's Warriors, which ran for six primetime hours on CNN. The series which focused on religious fundamentalism among Christians, Muslims, and Jews aired in the three parts and was shown across North America, Europe, and other parts of the world. We at Soul TV invite you as we take you in an in-depth look and share our thoughts on the CNN series, God's Warriors. What have we learned? Ms. Amanpour, CNN's chief international correspondent, is one of the most recognizable faces in international news. And as such, she and her producers should know better than to refer to some misguided people as warriors. And to make matter worse, refer to them as God's warriors. I'm Christiane Amanpour. For the last 30 years, religion has exploded as a powerful political force with an army of followers who share a deep dissatisfaction with modern secular society and a fierce determination to bring God and religion back to the seat of power. We call them God's warriors. We understand that the imposed title is intended to provoke public interest and excitement. But this kind of cheap sensationalism comes at the expense of accuracy and now, regretfully, the hallmark of the mainstream media. A place where achieving high rating is deemed more important than imparting any more wisdom on the viewer. I believe that Islam is a real threat. Something's gone wrong. We've too closely fused politics and our faith. I fear from those individuals who feel that they will go to heaven by killing me, I fear for my life. The only thing CNN proves with the programs such as this is the fact that if you give the head of the KKK and Osama bin Laden a microphone, they will only spew hatred. And by giving a voice to the extremism, CNN has given a helping hand for the deep rift between faith to widen. Some of the people presented in the CNN's Scarefest have blood on their hands. They have been called radicals, militants, or zealots. But thanks to CNN, they are now called God's warriors. And now they have got the validation and the recognition they crave as they presented their own intolerant views directly in front of a prime time audience. Eddie Thompson, an ordained minister, writes, CNN has become the public relations arm for the Al-Qaeda and every other inspiring terrorist organization looking to make a name for themselves. The question you, the viewer, must ask yourself is, what is the responsibility of the media in regards to this issue? Where should they draw the line between being used by the misguided few for propaganda and covering the news? Or between accurate reporting and obsession with the negativity that permeates today's media? Sure, there are and always will be people who uphold strict beliefs of ancient and fundamental doctrines or ideology, most notably Christians, Muslims, and Jews. History has already shown us this, and in the future, we will no doubt see the continuance of faith-based conflict that are endemic to human civilization. Ever since Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him, advised pharaohs, politics and religions have become inseparable. Ever since Christians burnt other Christians alive at the stake, accused of being witches, violence and religions have become inseparable. Ever since the killing of Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, divisions within Islam have fueled the ferocious flames that burns in the Middle East today and within the Muslim countries. Christian Amanpour is without a doubt well qualified to speak about three faiths. Raised in Iran by her Catholic mother and a Muslim father, now married to a Jewish husband, Amanpour has brought depth and context to the subject is often treated superficially or overlooked by the media. But most importantly, she has shown us what happens when a man creates his own God in his own image. If you 
have too late a conception of God. If you see God as a being like ourselves, writ large, with likes and dislikes similar to our own, it's all too easy to make that God uh, uh, endorse all some of your worst uh, fears, loathings, and hatreds. We're seeing a lot of that kind of religion today. God is on my side. Alamkor says, I think many more people overtly identify with God and religion than they ever did before. But more importantly, Amanpour has shown us that every time fundamentalism takes a hold of a man, history repeats itself, typically through bloodshed and political upheaval. In the conclusion of God's warriors, she warns us, we cannot and should not ignore them. But how does Ms. Amanpour seek to solve this issue when the person involved in creating the dilemma believes that they are returning to God? Return to what? Return to God? What sort of a God is it that is not there all the time? Beyond time and beyond space. So once I have that illusion that now I have to return to that thing, that I've made a distance between me and God, subject, object, that's God somewhere else, now in my great generosity, now I'm going to return to God. <laughs> We're used to a language that is functional in the worldly sense, totally dysfunctional in the heavenly sense. Imagine yourself dead, six feet under, how do you think God sees you? Would God see you as a man, as a woman, black, white, rich, poor, Muslim, Christian, or Jews? Maybe Sunnah or Shi'i. To him, you are none of the above. You are neither a man nor a woman, rich or poor. You are just a soul. Once we leave the body, then we don't have any more this camouflage of I am now able to act. After death, we cannot do anything. We can only coast along with whatever provisions we have taken here. What is that provision? It is the extent of unison between the lower self and the soul. The extent of the complete and utter unification of these two different fields. The one field is the field of four dimensionalities of this world. The other field is beyond any dimensionalities. Turn off the judging mechanism inside of you, writes Joseph Bernard, co-founder of Peace Together. Stop judging people beliefs and ideas as wrong, and instead seek to understand and accept differences. Explore the possibility of ending the persistent need society has of labeling everything as either good or bad. And try just in being what you are, just a soul. For Soul TV, I'm Al Ailsaid. <laughs>